You've heard of zero-point energy, but have you heard of zero-point motion? Of the two, the zero-point motion is the harder to understand because it seems to create something out of nothing that is motion from... Yes, from what, actually? A new experiment has now shown that it's totally real. Let's have a look. Zero-point motion doesn't get remotely the attention that entanglement does, but I've always found it fascinating because it's such a direct manifestation of the randomness of quantum physics. And to me, it raises the question of whether that randomness is really fundamental or whether it comes from something else. But what is it? Let's start with zero-point energy. That's a purely quantum phenomenon that doesn't exist in the non-quantum world. It's a consequence of particles also being waves. Suppose you have a non-quantum particle and you catch it in some potential. That could be literally a dip on the surface, but it could also be a confinement with electromagnetic fields, which is how they do it in the laboratory. A particle without quantum properties will just sit there at the lowest energy point and that's that. But if the particle has quantum properties, then it has a wavelength, and the wavelength needs to fit into the potential. This is the easiest to understand if the potential has hard walls, like it's a box. Then there are standing waves that fit in and the rest doesn't. This happens for any potential, and the important thing is that a quantum particle cannot not wave. It must wave. And if it waves, it has energy. This means that the state of lowest possible energy is above the classical no energy. And this is the so-called zero-point energy of a quantum system. It's energy that's always there, inevitably, because the particle has quantum properties. It's even still there at zero temperature. It's there in the vacuum. You cannot ever get rid of it. It's like emails from conferences you once attended. Okay, you might say, but who cares if it doesn't do anything? Well, this is where zero-point motion comes in, because the zero-point energy should be related to a zero-point motion. They're basically brothers. The zero-point energy should move stuff around randomly in some direction. I know this kind of sounds like magic, like you get motion from nothing, and that's totally correct. Physics is magic. This is what the math says anyway. It turned out to be very difficult to measure, though. There have been some previous attempts to look for zero-point motion in atom clouds, but that didn't properly work. This new approach works completely differently. They want to look at what the individual atoms do in a molecule. They have zero-point energy, but do they also have zero-point motion? Like, even if the molecule is not itself vibrating, it's the lowest possible energy state can the atom still move because of this unavoidable energy? Common sense says no. Quantum math says yes. And the grant proposal says maybe if you give us two million dollars. So what does the experiment say? They measure this with a method called Coulomb explosion imaging. They basically take a big molecule and they blasted it with a huge X-ray laser. This rapidly strips off the electrons. Without the electrons, the atomic nuclei strongly repel each other because they're all positively charged. So the molecule explodes. They catch all the atoms and then they measure exactly what momentum each nucleus had. From this they can infer how much zero-point motion the atoms had before the blast. It's a really clever method and to make a long story short they find that zero-point motion is totally real. I give this paper a zero out of ten on the bullshit meter. It's a neat experiment. I know that zero-point energy and zero-point motion attract a lot of attention as possible alternative energy sources, but I'm afraid I don't know any way to harness this energy for practical uses. Unless your practical use is to confuse people on YouTube. However, I think that the theoretical implications are somewhat underrated, because think about it. The basic equation of quantum physics the Schrodinger equation has no random element. The only random element in quantum physics is the measurement process. So why does a molecule have zero-point motion before anyone's looking at it? Or does it not? Or is quantum physics wrong? I don't have an answer to this. I don't think anyone has. 
But for now, quantum mechanics has once again won a staring contest with common sense. Quantum mechanics, algorithm, statistics sounds scary, but don't let yourself be intimidated. Have a look at the courses on Brilliant because I found them to be great at breaking down complex ideas into interactive lessons that anyone can follow. All courses on Brilliant have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. What you see here is from their newly updated maths courses. No matter how abstract the topic seems, Brilliant's courses have intuitive visualizations that really click into my brain. I found it to be a highly effective way to build up knowledge. And Brilliant covers a large variety of topics in science, computer science and maths, from general scientific thinking to dedicated courses, just what I'm interested in. And of course, I have a special offer for viewers of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabine or scan the QR code, you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.